Now, when I first started improving my life, one of the first things I got into was affirmations. And chances are, if you are also into personal development, you're also into the idea of affirmations. But one of the problems with affirmations is something simple, and it's that they often don't work. Well, in this video, I wanna share my experience with what happens when affirmations don't work, and what's the better alternative? What's up guys, Alex Hine here, author of the book Master the Day. Now, one of the related practices to writing down affirmations and reciting them that I do still daily is journaling. Now, journaling is a very strategic way of overcoming barriers and reaching your goals. And I've included a free email course. It's the first link right in the description box there below. Click that, enter your email. You're going to get this free email sequence over time. You'll also learn about my journaling program. Now, this idea of affirmations being used as the be-all, end-all of improving emotions and beliefs, to me, just doesn't work and it just doesn't make sense. Like, when I first started wanting to improve myself, a lot of what drove me was the fact that I was a real-life McLovin and never got any girls, let alone the kind of women I wanted. So imagine if I'm there, little Alex, look like an encyclopedia salesman, I'm like 17 years old, look like I'm 12, and I'm like, I am utterly irresistible to women. I am a sex god. Like, can you imagine how ridiculous that would be and how ineffective it would be? There's a saying by Jim Rohn that if you're broke, the best affirmation is not I'm a millionaire. The best affirmation is I'm broke and I need to do something about it. So with me, in my opinion, affirmations don't really change those core emotional patterns. They're things that you either have to prove to yourself through personal development, through actually achieving your goals, actually improving yourself, or there are things that you have to really chisel away at and look for evidence that's counter to that belief you have. And when it came to building my business, if I was like, I am powerful and I have this huge audience at my fingertips that loves my work and I produce amazing content and I make millions of dollars, it doesn't really work because your subconscious, honestly, your conscious and your subconscious, they both know that's not true because it sees the reality. It looks out the window and it sees the ghetto or it sees the dumpy apartment you don't want to live in. It sees the crappy meal that you bought for $3 because that's all you can afford right now. You know, the idea of saying an affirmation to somehow counter reality, in my mind, is a flawed idea. What would have been a better affirmation is, right now I'm broke and I'm going to commit myself every single day to personal development and studying the habits of the wealthy. So what do you actually do instead? So in my mind, the best way to go about it is replacing affirmations instead with growth-oriented actions. So let's say, for example, the affirmation wanted to be around getting that exceptional partner. Make the affirmation not that I will get this partner or I'm with this amazing person, but that the affirmation is I'm committed to spending one hour a day improving this quality about myself. And instead, you become that exceptional person that's the mirror of the person you're trying to attract. So if you want a person who's exceptionally generous, you start cultivating that trait in your daily life. And without a doubt, if you are more generous, more intellectual, more curious, more fun, more adventurous, you're going to attract more people like that. If you want more wealth or you want to be more successful in your business, you don't affirm that I'm going to be a millionaire because that does nothing. You affirm and commit to one hour a day, I'm going to commit to these habits, this process of becoming the millionaire, which may mean, it may mean starting a business. It may mean how you manage your money, earning money, saving money, allocating money. So rather than, I'm just going to become a millionaire and it's going to fall on your head, what do I need to do daily to do that? Or instead of that, like, I'm happy, I'm zen, I'm peaceful, even when my mom calls me a fat whale. Instead of that, the affirmation is that I'm going to practice these habits of daily, happy, calm, non-reactive people. So we're taking something that's like really trying to convince myself of something I know that's not even true, even though I want it to be true. And instead, we make it more practicality oriented. Now, just a quick reminder again, I've included some of this kind of mental, cognitive, emotional restructuring inside the journaling program. So check out that link in the description box. It's going to bring you to a free email series on journaling, how I used it to achieve goals, improve my life, etc. It's the first link right there in the description box there below. And punch in your email, you'll get that right away. And again, my last two videos that have come out, you can check out right there and right there.